Our good buddy John Gidding is back with us. I call him Giddy Up because he's so good looking. Uh, the name of our first couple, first up is Kaylin and Alton right here. Hi, guys. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Rachel, oh, hi, John. Bright, pretty colors. Yeah. So Thank what you. is your decorating dilemma? So me and my husband, we moved into our dream home six months ago. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Everything is white. So we have white furniture, we have a little bit of a neutral color pillows, everything is pretty much plain. So I would like to do a pop of color somewhere in the living room, something playful, you know, um, yes. color you mix somewhere. it up a bit. This, yes. Yeah, this. I just feel like we moved in a little too fast. We just got there, let's stay white not start popping colors, and we just walked in the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now it's time to reassess. Yes. yes. Been a minute now. Yes. You've lived there. Long enough, I guess. Yeah. I see very few colors there, which, you know, compared to what you guys are wearing, is a contrast. Right. Here's the thing with color. You've already started down the right path. You have to have your preferences, which everyone's got their color preferences. You right. can almost not go wrong. You're allowed to like what colors you like. But you also need a little bit of intent. Like, what is the room supposed to do? So can we talk a little bit of color theory real quickly sure. right here? Here we've got a beautiful color wheel. And basically the colors that are on opposite sides of the wheel are contrasting colors. And when you incorporate them, that's a lot of energy. Like for example, the two of you right now, this is what you're giving me. That's a lot of energy, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. But you gotta keep that to a minimum. So if we were, for example, to pull out, pull out some of these cushions right here, and I see blue and yellow being kind of a favorite, which is great. Mm -hmm. So this, for me, is a lot of contrast, and this works really well. And anytime you pick colors from opposite sides of this wheel, you wanna use this minimally, sparingly, okay. so that that energy is contained to a certain part of the room, for example. Okay. That said, sometimes you want a room to be relaxing. You want that room to work for you in a way that calms you down, in which case you take away the contrasting colors and you bring in harmonious colors. You and just now, do different variegations of the same tone. Exactly, so blues go very well with purples. Okay. Purples go well with magentas. Greens and yellows go very well together. All the citruses go well together, etc. So now it becomes a room that calms you down rather than it Pops excites you up. up. <laughs> right. Exactly. Gotcha. And where it gets difficult, and you gotta keep this in mind, is where you're kinda going in thirds, where like, these purples aren't gonna go super well with the greens. Right. Does that make sense right. to you? Yes. They're neither right. harmonious nor complimentary, so that's where you gotta be careful. Okay. Okay. You need to get you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.